First at noon, sentenced to life. That is what 22-year-old Jason Beckman received today in court for the murder of his father, South Miami Commissioner Jay Beckman. In court today, Beckman stood up and gave a short speech to the judge about what he had done and his feelings about his own lawyer. CBS 4's Gary Nelson joins us now from outside the Metro Justice Building with much more. Gary, certainly not something you see every day. No question, this is a young man who had a difficult life. He suffered from Asperger's syndrome, lost his mother as a child, had no real circle of friends. None of that, the judge said today, justifies a cold-blooded murder. Jason Beckman was sworn in, a sneer on his face as he came to be sentenced for the murder of his dad, Jay Beckman, a South Miami commissioner at their home in April 2009. Uh, I recognize my mistake. Beckman spoke of what he called his mistake. My father shouldn't be dead. I wish he was still here. And not because I'm here, but because I, I loved him and I, uh, I really feel like I could have improved my relationship with him just by doing a few things different. Beckman shot his father dead with a shotgun. The dad was showering. The son presented a shotgun defense. It was an accident, then self-defense, then insanity. Beckman teed off on his defense attorney today. The way he represented me, uh, I think he's a clown, honestly. He did a horrible job. Judge Rodney Smith acknowledged Beckman suffers a mild form of autism, but says he has a genius IQ, plotted his father's murder, had a hit list of people he wanted dead. This is your makeup. That's not going to change. This is who you are. You're very vengeful. You have a personality uh, like a ticking time bomb. No one spoke for Beckman. He has no family, lost his mother to cancer as a child. It's very sad what happened. It's uh, a terrible situation but the community will be made safe. Beckman invited the judge to impose the max. If you feel like a life sentence is appropriate, then by all means impose it. And that's just what Judge Smith did, sending Beckman off to life in prison. Now, the judge could have sentenced Beckman to life in prison with no hope of parole, but because he was a juvenile when he killed his father, the judge instead imposed life with a minimum mandatory 25 years. He will be 46 before he is eligible for parole. We're live in Miami. Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News. Gary, thank you for that. Now